Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine. How's your day guys? I hope you guys are doing well with that. So today, as you guys have read in the title, today I will be doing a review about this hashtag Insta Fix and Matte, and this is from Rimmel London. You guys all know that I have truly enjoyed these stay matte powders that they have, so I am really intrigued on, on how well this one works. So yeah, if you guys want to see my thoughts on this product, just go ahead and keep on watching. So... The first thing that I notice about this powder is that it is way more expensive than the Stay Matte powder. So this is around $4.97, while this one is just around, in Walmart, I think it's just $3.50. I am so not sure, but this one is insanely cheap, but this is something that I won't re... This is really awesome. Every time I use this on my face to set my foundation, everybody gives a compliment. It gives you a really nice coverage and it really does the job. So we will see what is so special about this one. So comparing the two of them, this one is more expensive and you will get more. I mean, this one is expensive and you will get less products. This one is just eight grams while this one is 14 grams and it's cheaper. So I'm really excited to try this one out because the price can't be higher without anything, something special about it. I really love the print on this one. It has these hashtags on it, super cute. You guys see that? So I'm just gonna put my foundation. The foundation that I'm going to use today is from Hard Candy, the Glamouflage. So I'm not gonna put any concealer on because I don't wanna go like full crazy makeup today. I just want a decent layer of cream in my face. I love this foundation, guys. I have reviewed this last year when I was dying in boredom. If you guys want to check it out, it's just in my playlist. Alright guys, now that I am done with the foundation, I'm going to set that with this powder. I am so excited. I'm going to do the half of my face first. It has, hmm, hold on. It has a smell, but the smell is not similar to the Stay Matte, but this one has this strong smell as well, but it's different. So if you guys are very sensitive, but when you put it on your face, you can't actually smell that. So I don't know why people overreact sometimes. Oh, by the way, this one doesn't have any mirror on it. Let me just read what it says in the back. Translucent pressed powder for a matte finish can be used to set foundation as a finishing step and for quick touch-ups during the day. Apply with powder brush over foundation or bare skin. Dermatologically tested. Mm. Okay, so uh, do you guys see the difference with the powder and without? It kind of blurred my pores a little bit, but of course the foundation help is also responsible for minimizing my pores. But I love the finish of it. It's so smooth, but it doesn't give you coverage, obviously, because this is just supposed to be like a setting powder, a translucent one. So it doesn't really give you that color. But the reason why I love translucent shades or trans translucent powders is that when you're doing makeup to somebody else, you don't, you will not have that problem of color matching them when it comes to this one. I don't know if I make sense. It's me again, not making sense, but sometimes I feel like when I try to explain something, I'm the only person who can probably like relate to it. But anyways, going back. I love how it feels. It is, it feels very smooth. It's not, I must say that when I put this on my face, I feel light. It's not as heavy as the Stay Matte Powder. I'm so excited on what this baby can do on my face. I'm not gonna expect, cause that always happens when I expect something. I would always feel like eh at the end of the day. So yeah, I'll just finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Hi everyone, my makeup is finally done. My friend is here, say hi. <laughs> hi guys. We're going out and I'll get back to you guys at the end of the day and tell you guys what I feel about this powder. <laughs> That's so awkward. Powder. <laughs> hi everyone. I have no space. It is almost 12 a.m. and I am ready to give you guys an overview on what we did. So you're probably going to ask Jessie, why is your lipstick like still there? You're probably lying. It just 
didn't even give us your time stamps or whatever. I'm gonna tell you guys this Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Lip Color is insane. I was like, we already ate. I ate a lot. And then I after that, I drank some green tea, which that was my first time zeroing king green tea and i absolutely fell in love i think i'm going to switch on that instead of drinking coffee every day i have no idea but it doesn't give me the it's like the jump start like what the coffee does going back to the product that's the reason why we're here sorry about that i got carried away by the green tea i didn't realize that it was so delicious going back i don't really think that there's something special with this one I think I just bought it because it has this hashtag it's a fix and mat. I have no idea. Probably because it's new and I really want to badly review this for you guys. But to tell you guys honestly, if you are planning to like go to a very special event and you know to yourself that you're going to dance a lot, you're going to be in the sun, you're going to be in this and that, and if you are oily, I don't really think that I could trust this at all because I didn't even do any physical activities today and it's cold and my face is reacting this way I don't think this one will survive in my skin so if you're gonna ask me that if this is better than the stay matte I would I would still pick the stay matte just because it gives me coverage and it really keeps my skin mattif uh, <coughs> mattified in a long period of time so <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. I have been rudely interrupted by these two. Excuse me. Princess! When you're my baby! When you're my baby! Like, I don't get the part, like, why is this expensive and it has less product than this one that has more product and cheaper and it really does an amazing job. I can't stress enough how amazing this is. This is really my holy grail. I actually have two of them and I absolutely love it. So for this one, nah, I'm going to pass on this. I've never been, have I ever been disappointed into any remote product? I'm not really like overly disappointed on this one, but I was expecting something magical with this. I love the feeling that it feels light on the face and it mattifies, but in a just short period of time. But that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, just repeat it again. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And if you are still not part of this family, go ahead and subscribe. I upload Mondays to Fridays, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!